Hello, everybody. It's Brandon again. Today, we are going to be going over uh, some basic subroutining. I uh, hope you guys are ready. I'm going to do a share screen. And you should be seeing what I'm seeing now. All right, so we're going to go into the Studio 5000. I'm already connected online. So what is going to happen now is I'm going to basically make a couple of subroutines, and I'm going to show you guys how to uh, appropriately uh, energize and de-energize those subroutines from your main routine. So your main routine is literally just going to be something to uh, either energize or de-energize your subroutines. Now, you can't have them all energized at once and operating together, but subroutines are used, say you're building two different types of equipment and you don't need uh, the bottom three subroutines to build the last piece on a certain piece of equipment, you can de-energize them uh, from your main routine. So to get started, I'm just gonna go up here to main program, right click, and I'm gonna add a new routine and we're just gonna call it sub one, stand for subroutine one. Then we're gonna do it again. We're gonna call this one sub two. All right, so I'm just going to make a really, really basic um, program. Well, a couple of different ones here. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on my main routine, which I'm already there. Add two rungs, and I'm going to find a uh, JSR. So they should be pretty far down here. It'll be under program control. So we're just going to add a JSR to this first rung, and then we're going to add a JSR to the second rung. And all we're going to do here is just add sub one here under routine name, and then sub two on the second one. Now you'll see all these other parameters here, but if you double click on them and just hit backspace, we can get rid of these because we don't really. Uh, need them per se. So double click, backspace, click on the next one. There we go. So this is what we want them to look like here. So we're just going to routine sub one, routine name sub two. Then we're going to use thing to switch between them. What is perfect for this, uh, that would be our selector switch. So we're just going to add a couple of these in. And we're going to go to local one inputs data one, and we're going to use the same one for the next one, but we're using an XIO and an XIC uh, respectively. So that will help us switch between which subroutines we're going to be using. So back up on main routine, you'll see we have here, so we can actually go ahead and we could try to finalize, but we have empty rungs on our subroutine, so it will not let us do it. So we're pretty much done here as far as we can go at this point. So on subroutine one, I think all I'm gonna do is basically, and again, this is just the basics, we're gonna use our, uh, green push button here. And we're just going to use our green push button to turn on our digital output zero. So I'm going to put that here. And then I'm going to use a latch. So uh, find local one outputs zero, and that should be our green light. Then I just want to be able to unlatch it. So I'm going to add another rung here. And then we're just going to use a toggle bit to unlatch it. So I'm just going to put a XIC here and find a, I think I have one named toggle bit. Yeah, toggle push button. We'll just use toggle push button zero. And you'll see I already have it named unlatch lights. So let me just put another unlatch here and we'll just drag the same address down here 
All right, so now we're done with this subroutine. So then on subroutine two, it's going to be essentially the same thing. We're going to use our green push button here. And instead of turning on D00, we're going to turn on uh, digital output two. So the local one O data two, which will be our red light on your box. Then we're going to do the exact same thing where we're going to use, we can use the same bit actually. So if you want to, um, we're on subroutine two, go back here. We can copy it and then just paste it in there too. So we're gonna use the same unlatch lights bit. So then we're gonna just add the unlatch here, drag our address down. Now we should be able to finalize because everything's good to go. So now we just finalized all of our uh, rungs and routines. So here we finalized finalized in sub two, we're finalized in the main routine. So basically what's going to happen here is according to the program, the way it's set up, we can use subroutine two, but subroutine one is useless. So if we go into subroutine one and I push this green push button, nothing will happen because in the main routine, our JSR, our jump to subroutine is not getting energy to it. It's not energized. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the green button. Now you'll see the green push button bit energized, but it will not allow the green light to turn on. See? So our green light is not turning on, but however, go back into our main routine, our red selector switch is off, energizing subroutine two, our JSR subroutine two. So what happened when I turned on that when I push that green push button, the red light came on. So now I'm gonna go ahead and toggle this bit to turn it off. Now I'm gonna push the green button again. Now it turned on our red light. So subroutine two will function because it's energized in our main routine. Now I'm gonna turn off, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna turn on the red selector switch to switch the status. So now you'll see JSR sub two is not getting power to it. So if I go back to sub two and I hit the green push button again, see, it'll energize here, but it won't let the red light turn on. It basically de-energizes any outputs in that subroutine. Go back to sub one, our, now our green light's on. So I'm gonna toggle this unlatch bit here. And now I'm gonna push the green push button again. And now our green light comes on. So what happens if I hit the red selector switch now? Notice that they stayed on because they were in a latched status, but I can go ahead and do this toggle bit. Now it won't let them unlatch. Why is that? Because they were energized when our subroutine was energized, but they stay in that state until it's energized again. So I'm gonna turn it back on. It basically disables the subroutine when it's not energized in the main routine. So now, now it lets me toggle it. It basically makes all of your outputs, it freezes them in the state they're in if that subroutine is not energized in your main routine. So back to sub two, I'm switched back over to sub two now. And now it will allow our red light to turn on again. But the green light can never turn on with the screen push button while it is de-energized in our main routine if it's not getting power to the JSR. So just gonna go ahead and untoggle that again. And now back to our main routine and we're just using the red selector switch to switch back and forth between which subroutines we can utilize our outputs in. And that's really all I got. I just used the green push button picked one of the lights for each subroutine and used the same unlatch lights toggle push button to unlatch them within the program. So hope this has been helpful guys. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.